Even though conditions have improved dramatically, people who live in the fire zone are still not allowed to return to their property. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo is live in Colfax tonight. One of the communities still evacuated. And Melanie, what needs to happen before those roadblocks are lifted for everyone? Well, in short, a lot has to happen before this area is deemed safe for people to go back to their homes. And according to the Placer County Sheriff's Office, that may not happen until tomorrow at the earliest. In the meantime, as you can see behind me, this is just one of the locations where officers have been set up throughout the day today, making sure people don't go into those areas that are still under evacuation orders. When the river fire forced people to evacuate their Colfax homes, Gary Brownlee didn't have to be told twice. He got out. Well, I just left with the clothes on my back and my dog and that's it. He has property up in Paradise too and was there that fateful day in 2018 when the campfire broke out. 100 foot flames everywhere and uh, it was life and death situation and I didn't want to relive the situation here. So once deputy told me to leave, I was gone. Stopping by to see if he could get back through to his home now that the smoke is clear, Gary is told not just yet. He understands there's still work to be done. I'm just going to leave and hopefully let them do their job. CHP officers posted up at this roadblock spent the day having to turn away many. We've had quite a flow of traffic here. They can't let people through the roadblock till evacuation orders are lifted. I live in this community. This is my community and I love it. And uh, I totally understand that the people want to get home. There are several safety hazards that exist within the river fire zone and other fires for that matter. Take a look at this. This is still active flame that is happening inside one of the down trees here. Also, lots of hot spots still smoldering and many trees down within this little forested area. And take a look at this. Over here across the roadway, some logs in the middle that fire crews have to clear out before they let people back in. That's why those evacuation orders are still in effect. Crews say there are also propane tanks and downed power lines, utilities that need to be brought back online before people can safely head back to their homes. We'd ask folks to stay away from the closures just because it uh, we get in the way of emergency personnel. We still need to be careful and make sure it's a completely safe zone before people are allowed to enter again. Experience has Gary following the order. He says doing so kept him safe twice now. I'm just happy to be alive. It's just one adventure after another. And every time you have an adventure, you're a little bit smarter for the next adventure. This time I didn't have to fight the flames. I got out before then. And it's also a good idea to pay attention to official social media sources when it comes to learning when those evacuation orders are going to be lifted, whether it's the Placer County Sheriff's Office or the Nevada County Sheriff's Office, even Cal Fire's website. Those are places to find when the evacuation orders have been lifted, according to Placer County Sheriff's Office. Unfortunately, there was some sort of bogus text chain going around that indicated evacuation orders had been lifted for the Colfax area when they hadn't. Reporting live in Colfax tonight, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.